Hello, I've talked a little bit about the uh, the Tawangi sort of uh, uh, cove dolphin and uh, whale cull, and I wanted to go in a little bit more as to um, the details of the cull. Um, now, individuals have got three routes or four routes basically. Um, they either escape, which is a, a good thing. Um, they either um, they get taken in and they get slaughtered or they either get selected for um, training and that means a life in captivity or um, sometimes like pilot whales um, Japanese uh, they run on a quota for size and um, sort of weight quota so it basically stops the Japanese whalers from taking young adolescent animals and, and babies that really should be with their mother. And basically these individuals are not, they're very very young and they can't cope on their own without a pod and they're open to predation. And basically um, a pod of pilot whales is brought into a cove. Um, most of them are slaughtered for whale meat. Um, some of them go on and get uh, taken into captivity, but a few of them get shunted back out to the sea. And these animals that are shunted back out the sea are um, babies and adolescents, and um, they're missing out on feeding and experience of older pod members and the sort of um, chances of survival for those individuals are, are much more reduced and it's just really really sad to think that um, so they're just left out just to die it's just awful um, and I've also uh, I'm gonna speak to uh, the Sea Guardians a, a, a big sort of environmental group running sort of research and uh, adver not advertising, but um, making awareness of the Taji Japanese cull and to see what their thoughts are on those individuals that are pushed back out and is there any sort of care measures and um, any sort of uh, people watching those individuals because it must be an awful thing not only to see your family members be slaughtered in front of you but to be stressed and then to be pushed back out to sea on your own or with other youngsters um, quite with brute force because they really shunt the boats straight out I think they bash the side of the boat and it really must stress them out and it's just a real shame it must be really really bad so yeah I hope this uh, you enjoy this video and just remember that um, it's not really all about the slaughter I know the slaughter is bad and, it, and taking them from the wild is bad in captivity but you've also got to remember um, those animals that are pushed back back into the wild and they haven't really got the skills or experience to survive. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video and um, please rate, subscribe.